This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code ADJUSTERTV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. What is ITEL? I don't actually know what ITEL stands for, so I'm looking it up really quick here. The Independent Testing Evaluation Laboratory. That was a pretty easy one. So basically, I tell what I tell is, and you may hear this kicked around, um, especially if you're, you know, trying to learn more and more about what we do as claims adjusters. Um, I tell is an independent, it's a third-party company that does uh, materials um, identification, and they also part of the service that they offer is to, for, at least for as far as what we care about, is that they will also tell you the availability of that material, right? So in other words, you go to a house and the most common places that you're gonna do ITEL are gonna be carpet or, or flooring, usually carpet, um, uh, or siding, right? So like vinyl or metal siding. Um, and so what you'll do is, is you'll walk into a house and it may be required that you do an ITEL on all carpet, no matter what, right? If there's, if there's water damage to the carpet and you're gonna replace the carpet, not you're just gonna dry it out because you don't wanna be cutting people's carpet if they're just if they have it still there <laughs> this is a whole different video but sometimes water mitigation companies will try to save the carpet and then charge you for tearing it out and it's, it's a whole thing um, not common but anyway uh, if you're going to replace the carpet right because it's it's cat it's a it's a category of water uh, or a class of water that is you can't clean it. You're not, and you don't want to even try. Right? Throw it away, or it's it's somehow severely damaged to the point to where it's it makes it's going to be cheaper, make more sense, be easier, um, and be a better you know sort of outcome for the homeowner. Just tear it out and put new stuff in. Right? So we're replacing the carpet. I just want to be clear. Same thing with the siding. Um, sort of siding, diff slightly different. Um, you would take a one foot by one foot square piece. You have a utility knife that you're gonna keep in your bully bag or in your you know, your holster thing. And take a one, a one foot by one foot, 11 inch by 11 inch, right? So something that's probably not much bigger than that because it won't fit in the mailer. Um, grab that, cut that piece of uh, carpet and have a little um, uh, sort of a sheet that has some, what's the claim number? How old do you think, did the homeowner say this was? You know, blah, 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 blah. And you stick it in this a mailer along with this sheet, and the you know your insurance company that you're working for, the I firm will give you a bunch of mailers with stickers. You know the 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 mailing labels form for UPS or FedEx or whatever. And you stick those on, and then you just drop it into an a, a overnight box or whatever, or you drive it by a UPS store, um, and then it'll go overnight to wherever ITEL is. I think it's Florida or something, and ITEL will do an analysis on that piece of carpet and say. Okay, this piece of carpet is actually a such and such, uh, made by such and such company, um, Acme Carpet Company, and it is their model 3307712 um, Off White Berber Super Weave, or whatever it is, right? So they'll have all these details about what that particular piece of carpet is. And then they'll say uh, material price by the square foot is $4.14, right? And the final piece, the availability piece, is, is they'll say, um, you can find this carpet at, uh, you know, wherever, right? So ABC Supply or Jerry's Carpet, you know, Bonanza at this, this particular place, this particular uh, phone number, this, they have this many, you know, how many, they have 5,000 yards of it you know, in their warehouse. Because ITEL will call and look around and see if they can find these materials close to where the, that home, that you're insured is, right? Um, and then, so you'll take that price of $4.14 and you'll drop it into um, Xactimate, right? And the, the component pricing, and that's what you pay them because that's what they have. They can take that money and they can do whatever else they want with it. They can put in hardwood floor, and which is gonna be more expensive, but they've got up to $4.14, you know, per square foot for what they had. You're paying them for what they had at the house at the time of the loss, right? And again, they could go to something cheaper, they could just like scrape everything off and just like polish the concrete floor and not replace it with anything, whatever they want, right? For siding, 
it's a little bit different um, because generally speaking, you are with with carpet. It's it's the you're throwing away the carpet, and we just want to figure out what the price is. Like, what are we going to pay for this? What's the, the the value of this? If that's not available, which is it's very possible, this is a you know, you can use this money to buy something comparable because that's what the price of this is right now. Take this four dollars and fourteen cents plus labor, right? You add labor on top of that, um, and buy something that else that you like that may be similar, right? Um, it's not really a matching thing for carpet, uh, especially with cl- rooms that have closing doors. Um, but with siding, um, and sometimes you can do roofing, but it's not super common. I've only done a few roof sent off roof shingles. Um, it's not that common, um, but for siding, it's very common, right? So especially on hail and wind, where you have um, it may be that you have um, w- uh, one or two chips on one side of the house, and you're, the carrier is saying, if that siding is available, then you would replace only the pieces that were damaged, right? You mean you're just, just going to do a repair. Or um, if it's not available, then you only do replace from corner to corner. Um, it may be that depending on the state, the state may say, well, if it's not available, you can't just do corner to corner. You have to do the whole thing. I'm not going to go into a huge, you know, like thing on matching, um, it can get complicated in a way, um, but it's something that you would just seek guidance from the carrier, estimating guidelines, and first through your manager, right? And it'll this, because matching is such a big deal, it's something that they're going to have they're going to have resources for you about this, right? So um, with the siding thing, again, like I said in another video, um, if you're like the contractor says, well, this siding is 15 years old, or the homeowner says it's 15 years old. And they say, you know, if somebody says it's not available, we can't get this anymore, or nothing that's even close to it, then on the damaged side of the house, right? Not on any other side of the house, only on the side that you're already gonna do something and you're already gonna pay something on, then I would go down, I, the way I did it was is I would go down to the bottom, maybe to a corner, and get some tin snips, and you, those are something you carry around in your low back, your little tool thing as well, and cut up, and then you have to cut through the nail, there's a little like st- strip that has holes in it where, you, where they nail it in. Cut through that and then yank it out of there. Fill out the ITEL sheet, stick it in a bag and overnight it to ITEL. And then they will email you two to three days later and say, that is an Alcoa um, Heritage whatever with uh, Heartland, whatever it is, right? This is the color, right? Because they were able to see a, a part of it that was uh, not sun faded, that was maybe under the cor- the corner strip, right? And this is the pattern. Um, then they will say, then they'll say something like, the following is, it's not available at all. They don't make this, nobody makes this particular siding anymore. Um, but there is some surplus stock um, at ABC Supply or whatever at this address, which was 2.7 miles from your insurance place. So it's available, right? Even though it's not made anymore, it may still be available as sitting in boxes in the back of somebody's warehouse, right? Very common. Or they may say, it's not available and nobody has anything that's even remotely close to it at all. There you go. And they'll give you the square foot price of it as well, um, whether it's available or not available, right? Uh, if it's not available, then you're like, well, like you can't put something. You have to. They have to have a uniform, reasonable appearance on that side of the house or all four sides of the house. So then that's when you talk about replacing all of one side or all of, all the sides, right? Um, or they may say, um, this is this is the brand and everything, blah blah blah. Um, this particular style and color and profile uh, is not made by this Alcoa anymore, but that mold and whatever was bought by a different company, right? And so they're making it, or, and it's available at this address and this what, this phone number, this contact information. And they'll even say like there's they have 15 boxes of it, right, or whatever. Um, or they may say, um, this isn't, this particular brand and, and style and whatever isn't made, but there's there's a, a, a reasonable match, right? And it's close. It's gonna be one of those things that the only person that's gonna know that it's not the same is gonna be, the homeowner, because they're just going to know, right? And, and whether they're cool with that or not, that's a whole other story. But from somebody standing there, even if you're standing and looking right at the corner of the house, and this is the old siding, and this is the new thing that was a, the closest possible match, 
and you can't tell the difference between the the patterns and obviously the profile has got to be the same and the color then that's that's a, a custom that's a reasonable uniform appearance that's a, that's a match right if it, if it's something that's so close that it's not distinguishable right and it's not going to have an effect on the value of the house and all that kind of stuff um, so that's really what I tell is is in a, in a nutshell is really to tell us how much you know carpet what do we put in for the price of the carpet right because carpet can be I mean, a dollar a square foot, or it could be thirty-five dollars a square foot. It's all over the board, right? And the homeowner may have no idea. They may have bought the house, and you know, back in the early '90s, um, the homeowner that owned the house then won the lottery, and they replaced the carpet with you know the most expensive Berber that they could get their hands on, right? And now, twenty-five years later, this homeowner they sold the house, you know, a few years later or whatever. This guy, it's, they have no idea, and neither do you, right? So it, it, you want to take a sample and send it off to ITEL. And then for the siding thing, it really comes down to more of a matching situation than it does like the price. Even though they may, they may or may not put, I can't remember, it's been a while since I've done ITEL. Um, they may or may not put the price on there. One final thing about ITEL is, is that they do have, and they've had this for a long time. Um, I'm sure it's gotten really, really good. I struggled with it because I'm not super smart and I didn't get it, but they have a kit or kits for, that you can use to sort of like, you stick your phone in it or stick a camera in it or it has its own camera in it and it's a plastic thing and you stick the, the carpet in and then you hit a button and it takes a picture and then it can you, you can send that. Instead of like cutting the piece out and mailing it, you can email or upload or whatever to their website, something done by this kit that will help them identify the material right that way through like a sort of remote means. Um, again, and that takes minutes, right? So that's maybe something worth exploring again. I'm not the brightest bulb in the, you know, in the room. And so I didn't, I, I couldn't get it to, it's one of those things I, I like tried it for like five seconds. I was like, this, I can't get this to work. And I just threw it back in the truck and I just cut the, the sample. I just got, I wasn't patient enough, let's put, let's put it that way. Um, and I'm actually very super smart. So, I mean, come on. Um, so anyway, they have a, a couple of different ways of doing it. Um, but by and large, it's not something that you're going to pay for. Um, it's something that is... Uh, going to be paid for probably by the carrier or possibly by the IA firm, and they will they should supply you with a kit, right? The little photo kit thing, or with mailer and or with mailers, um, with you know that you can just cut the, the piece out and send it off. And that's I tell in a nutshell. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at AdjusterTVPlus.com.